Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video today. I have a reminder for you, a simple message to remind you that life is an adventure. So be ready for the unexpected and make the most of all opportunities. Because often we may find ourselves being afraid of the unexpected, right? Being afraid of the unknown because we've been trying to live our lives that way. What if unknown is a scary place? What if something scary will happen in the next moment? What if we will lose what we care the most and so on, right? We are thinking that way. So we are constantly kind of triggered by what may happen. So what is the most important to know is that we are thinking that way because we've got stuck in certain habits of thinking and habits of behaving which are unhealthy for us. That's why we are looking on life that way. That's why we are not opening our perspectives and opening our perception and opening our hearts for the wonders of life. That's why it's so hard to actually open ourselves for the new opportunities and that's why so many people feel stuck. And then people are afraid of... of not being able to experience what they want to experience, so they rather hold to the past because at least they feel safe there. So it's all okay with that, my friends. It's all okay. But we need to remind ourselves that to open ourselves for something new requires to let go of something old. And it all begins and ends in our minds. And if we become aware that what we give power to has power over us. It's important to, to recognize that if you're constantly giving power to some experiences from the past, those experiences are still controlling you and that's why so much fear and so much tension is still present within you. If it all begins and ends in your mind, then a great practice would be to cleanse our mind so we would become more aware of who we truly are. So we would recognize that, that the pain could give a birth to a process. Let your pain birth your process, right? You may recognize maybe there's some mess in my life. Let your mess become your message. <laughs> right? You may recognize that whatever you see around you could remind you of what you could change within you. Right? You see your life is a mess, maybe. Well, let's make something out of it. Right? Why would you... Pull yourself down because you don't like where you are. Wouldn't it be great to uplift yourself and use what you have to create something beautiful? You never know where those things could take you. And we could use a butterfly, a beautiful example, because butterfly is proof that you can go through a great deal of darkness and still become something beautiful, isn't it? So, I remember when I was in school, I think it was a fourth or fifth grade, our teacher of uh, biology was explaining to us that if you would help a butterfly to get out of the cocoon, it would die immediately. Why is that? Because while butterfly is trying to get out of the cocoon, it is pushing blood into its wings so it developed strength so once it gets out of the cocoon it can fly and it can experience uh, the beauty of life so while it is um, kind of challenged by the cocoon to get out of it it is building strength so think about yourself maybe you can find yourself right now in the cocoon and you are challenged by your circumstances. And you may say, well, I wish somebody would help me right now. 
I wish that there would be a, a shortcut to get out of where I am right now. But on the other side, what is happening, you are actually building your own strength to get out of where you are so you can become who you want to be. Right? Life is a process. It's not about um, reaching goals. It's actually about transformation that is happening while we are going towards our goals. And that transformation is the greatest beauty of life because that's where we gain the greatest wisdom which then we can share with others and that that's how we can help others to evolve or at least we help others to uplift themselves. So, my friends, wherever you are, it's actually everything perfect the way it is. So, accept the challenges and remind yourself that whatever pain you're going through, it is actually a process. Don't feel so stuck because of the pain you're experiences, what you're experiencing. But rather ask yourself, how could you transform that pain into a process? How could you move on by accepting where you are, accepting what you're going through? Let your mess become your message and see the lessons that life is offering to you. You're meant to fly, my friends. So... I hope that this message can find you at the best possible time. Because I know sometimes, like, I went through the hardest moments when I decided that I want to... I want to initiate the path that was my dream back at that time. And, of course, there, there were many challenges and there were many hard days where I wanted to quit and I was thinking to go back into my old life and, and you know, all those thoughts which come across our awareness. But if we keep up, like, so much wonder is waiting you in the near future. And it is in the unknown places. It is unfamiliar. You can't actually think about all possible potentials that are awaiting you until you get there. You can't actually imagine all the wonderful things that are awaiting you in the future as the potentials until you get there. That's why it's so exciting to walk the path of the soul because we never know how much wonders and how much beautiful experiences can actually happen for us. And dark moments are actually helping us to build the strength so once we experience the beautiful things we'll be able to handle them we'll be able to stay grounded because often we can find people right um, winning the lottery which is a beautiful thing a, a truly awesome thing but most people get lost because of that most people get overwhelmed because of that and their minds got completely ungrounded and that's why they lose that money really fast It may happen in many different areas, but challenges are building strength. Because of challenges, we are becoming who we are. We are not who we are because of all the beautiful things that happened. We are who we are because of the challenges. That's what what made us. In challenging times, we learn to to, to create things out of nothing, right? When I had nothing, I've learned to use my creative mind to make things happen. And that's why it's so important to go through hard moments, because that's where we start tapping deeper into our greatest potentials. And that's where we actually start um, revealing what was hidden before within ourselves. We recognize that actually we are smart, actually we are creative, actually we are loving beings. And because we've experienced the lack of love, we found out the way to experience more love. We found out that there needs to be a greater way to experience life in a greater light. Right? Just because we've 
we were lacking something we found a way to make it happen to we found a way to 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 manifest it or to create it or to attract it so if you can find yourself right now lacking something you would like to have actually ask yourself what you already have and how to create more of what you want to have with what you actually have right now and that's how you will open yourself to the power of imagination which will help you to create more of the beauty that you want to experience and that's where we actually learn that we are the creators that we are the alchemists that we are here to learn to manipulate the energy to create with the energy to influence our environment with a positive energy and it's kind of mystical wisdom right because we recognize that wherever we are it's not a curse it's a blessing whatever we are going through it's actually like a, like a training for us so we would become who we, who we wish to be who we want to be so just make sure that your life will not stop at wishing but actually that you will start practicing what you already know that you will put your knowledge into practice so you will go beyond your beliefs and you will actually challenge yourself to see if your beliefs are actually beneficial and helpful for you that's where we learn to let go of the beliefs which are not serving us anymore and we start flowing with the life more often because so many beliefs are actually limiting us we believe into something because somebody told us that but once we start practicing different things and we start we start actually uh, walking the path with uh, with bravery and with curiosity we recognize that many beliefs can be like um, weights on our shoulders and we don't need that so we are stepping then from believing into knowing and we can only know when we experience something right that's from where knowing is coming from ask yourself how much you already know about life ask yourself how much you already know about yourself and you will see that you know those things because you've experienced that what you don't know about life don't hold just to beliefs practice challenge yourself be curious and try new things you will see that will open your that will completely open yourself to the new possibilities to the new opportunities to the new synchronicities and new serendipities which will find you so my friends one more time let your pain birth your process let your mess become your message and that's it have a beautiful day my friends i'm sending you lots of love blessings and power till next time i hope you've enjoyed in today's painting the moment of transformation where the caterpillar is going through the phase of transformation to become a butterfly we may all find ourselves here and there in the moments like that where we just don't know what to do with our lives we feel stuck and what i've learned in my life is that when i feel stuck i just need to accept that i need to pause myself i need to rest i need to recharge myself and those will be the days where i will spend much more time in nature i will go for the long walks i will journal journaling can help me to release my mind of um, the negative thoughts negative perception and that's how i gain a greater clarity over why i think the way i think i create like an interview with myself i start writing questions to myself and immediately i experience an answer 
And it requires us to be honest with ourselves. So be honest with yourself. Whatever you are going through, be honest with yourself. Don't force yourself to think positively. If your life is not actually the way you would like it to be, be honest with yourself. See your life the way it is right now. But allow yourself to dream and to transform your present reality into a reality of your dreams. It can help us if we are truly honest with ourselves, if we are true to ourselves. That's where we recognize, well, maybe maybe um, the pain that we are experiencing right now is not so strong than our dream. We may recognize that whatever we are dreaming about may be more inspiring than our present situation. So we are, yes, we are where we are. And it's all fine, it's all okay. But it doesn't mean that we should stay there, right? If the law of life is evolution, expansion, growth, change, let's go with that flow of life. Let's move on. Let's change. Ask yourself, what could you change about yourself? What are the thoughts you could change? The beliefs you could change? The habits you could change? What are the spiritual practices you could apply in your life? And what are the practices which are not working for you anymore you could let go of? Right in the recent videos, we've been talking a lot about it. Ditching old to write a new story. So, it's a matter of attention that you put onto yourself. Rather than distracting yourself because maybe you don't like where you are, accept where you are and follow your dreams. Awaken yourself to the greater opportunities that life has to offer for you as soon as you open yourself to the possibilities that there actually is a way to get to where you want to be but fall in love with the process fall in love with the transformation that is happening moment by moment fall in love with that because there is no greater satisfaction than being in love with what we are doing being in love with the path of life right some some time ago i've shared a quote with you if you fall in love with the path of life, you will always be in love because life is a journey, right? So think about it and let it sink in. This is it for today. One more time, sending you all lots of love, blessings and power. I appreciate you all. Thank you for expressing your love in the comment section. It's beautiful to see how much or how many of you are opening your hearts for the greatest possible opportunities. I love you all, my friends. One love.